Try Hack Me or Hack the Box. We talk about both of them on this channel, but which one is right for you? Which one should you get? Especially if you could only get one, which one would I recommend that you pick? So stay tuned to uh, learn the answer to that question. What's up, guys? This is Ryan from Elevate Cyber. Now, there's tons of resources out there, like I say, uh, when it comes to learning and building up this skill set. And uh, two that really are at the forefront on this channel, especially lately, are Hack the Box and Try Hack Me. So I would say they're two pretty different platforms, really, even though they teach a lot of the same things. I think that obviously both of them are of insane value. And if you want to get them both, uh, you never go wrong with that. But uh, it really depends on what your current level is. Now, obviously, if you're interested in blue team stuff as well, I would recommend TryHack Me because they actually have a, a cyber defense path, which that seems really, really cool, actually. I would like to check that out down the line. But uh, they have that on there. But if, if we if we go back to, you know, probably most of my audience here, you guys are probably into uh, pen testing, the offensive side of security. So when it comes to that, I would definitely say that uh, depending on where you're at, right? If you are just starting out, you're a very beginner, right? Let's cover that case first. If you're a complete beginner to this stuff, I would highly recommend TryHackMe. I believe that it is the best platform out there for uh, learning this stuff from scratch. It's going to give you very handheld training. It's really going to hold your hand and walk you through this stuff and build up your knowledge from absolute zero, from the complete ground up. Because they'll go and they'll teach you networking. They'll teach you how the web works, as we saw in uh, a video that I made recently. They'll teach you all of these things, assuming zero knowledge. And at the same time, what's cool is if you do have knowledge, there's still good rooms where you can learn stuff as well. You can kind of pick and choose what rooms you want to do. So a lot of options there, but by far, when we're talking about the demographic, the people that are new to this stuff, I would definitely say start with Try Hack Me. If you want to get into some Hack the Box later, get into Hack the Box, but start with Try Hack Me. Now, if you were on a more intermediate level, here's where it gets a little bit interesting. You might want to go hack the box because uh, hack the box is a more intermediate type of thing, right? Yeah, I mean, heck, you have to hack your way in just to be able to create an account on the site. If that doesn't scream uh, intermediate, I don't know what does, right? And so you really have a wide range of boxes on there, things that are pretty beginner level and then things that are pretty advanced level, like way harder than OSCP box level. So it's a wide range of difficulty and it's it's definitely something that, you know, you can go out there and watch videos by guys like Ipsec or John Hammond, any of those guys, but it's going to be pretty hard to follow along if you're a complete beginner. But when you're in, at an intermediate level, it, it makes sense, I, I definitely believe. But at the same time, there's still a lot of value at an intermediate level that you can get from Try Hack Me. I think the advantage to, personally, I think the reason that I would kind of more so recommend Hack the Box to an intermediate guy over Try Hack Me is it has less hand holding. And obviously, if you're just getting your hand held every step of the way and all of a sudden you dive into OSCP, it's still going to be a bit of a shock factor like, okay, I don't have any guidance on this and I'm they just turned me loose and I'm trying to hack these boxes. Whereas if you do, if you are intermediate and you go into some hack the box, you'll be kind of used to, you'll be a little more self-sufficient, I feel like, and used to like being in the CTF environment without any guidance unless you seek it out and look at a walkthrough or something like that. So I think that uh, for intermediate I think Hack the Box barely edges out over Try Hack Me, but again, they're both excellent platforms, to be honest with you. And obviously, if you're really advanced, you can really go with either one. You can always learn stuff from Try Hack Me, even as a review, but maybe Hack the Box is better because you'll get more challenging boxes, really challenging ones. But what's cool about Try Hack Me is they cover so many different topics. So maybe you're a really advanced pen tester, but now you want to start learning 
what some of the stuff's like from the blue team side, you can do the cyber defense path. And then once you understand what they're using to prevent you from breaking in or to detect you, then you become that much better at evading that stuff and maybe set up your own home lab. And with this, with these tools that you learn how to use on the blue team side and see if you can bypass the detection and stuff like that. So maybe that's what you want to do a little hybrid approach. Uh, if you're pretty advanced in this area. So I hope that cleared up a lot of, uh, you know, questions you guys might've had between the two platforms, definitely a short, quick video. Uh, but I think it was definitely something of value stuff that I would have liked to have known from the start. I didn't even know what try hack me was to be honest with you guys until a few weeks ago. And I've really been, I've been going hard and try hack me lately. Honestly, I've been, uh, I've been going through a lot of the, uh, I've almost finished the whole web, uh, the web, web path, but also the, uh, offensive security path. I've, I've done a lot of that as well. Offensive pen testing. Uh, so about half of that. And so, yeah, I've been loving it so far. Let me know what is your favorite platform. Let me know down in the comments section below and definitely, uh, check out my notes down in the description. They're absolutely free and can help you no matter which platform you decide to use. And certainly on the OSCP as well. And uh, check out my videos, what you need to know for OSCP. If that is something that you are interested in, I'll have it right over here. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and the like button to help get this message out there to help someone decide that perhaps might be a little bit in the dark as well. And I will see you guys in that video.